Hi everyone, I am Deacon with Windermere Wand Shop and I'm the owner and the wand maker um, and I generally don't get behind the camera. So if I'm socially awkward or awkward in this video, it's because I'm awkward in real life. And so this will be like we just met. Anyways, I am going to solve today, you can't really see in the shot right now, but I'm going to solve this amazing Harry Potter puzzle chest and I'm going to send some pictures through so that you can see just how gorgeous this thing really is. Um, I'm very excited to try to solve it. Um, I like puzzle boxes a lot, uh, though I don't have the same kind of experience that, that many have. So this could be a video of just me fumbling around and <laughs> and, and maybe uh, not solving it, but we'll see. Um, I'm excited to solve it and um, I'm excited to, to show off this thing in its uh, glory. So stay with me, and this is the first of hopefully many uh, more in-depth videos to where maybe I can I can solve things like this, or I can walk you through the wand making process, my thought process be behind things, and um, just the materials that I use, and, and why I do certain things the way that I do. But uh, anyways, before I ramble too much, let's get going. Okay, so first off, um, this thing is big. <laughs> it is big and it is so cool. Um, I, yeah, I just love the size of it, the look of it. It's, it's got this really cool rugged look, as you can see, it's very solid, super heavy, um, <clears throat> brass hand cast, by the way, um, hand cast figures from each of the houses. Of course, the lion for Gryffindor, the eagle for Ravenclaw. We have the snake over here for Slytherin. And of course the badger for Hufflepuff. And uh, just super cool uh, hand-carved imagery all throughout from Harry fighting Voldemort. We have the Marauders on this side here. We have what looks like Hermione with uh, like a brass time turner and Buckbeak. And on the back, uh, it looks like we have um, uh, the serpent with, uh, it looks like Ginny with the journal. So I'm excited to see what <laughs> crafty things are in store for me. So let's get going. Okay, so first off, uh, let's. I, I just like to look around and see uh, if anything moves. And gosh, every <laughs> every one of these little brass things could potentially be a button. So I'm going to have to think about that. These these figures here, they don't move. Um, there's a hole. Let's see. Yeah, so there's a hole um, by each. Let me come over here and look. And my camera is going to be shaky because I'm not set up to do video. So, yeah, there is a hole by each one of these. Let's see here. You can see here's the Marauders. We have the Werewolf, of course, for Lupin. We have James as the Stag. We have Sirius as the Dog. And we have, we have Pettigrew, that jerk as the rat under the moon and I know oh, there is a button here. So uh see if I can push it in all the way. One sec. Fingers are too big. Okay. Nothing is happening. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this moves. I notice that this moves. This one seems to move a little bit as well, but just a tiny bit. Let's see what the others here. Gosh, this thing's beautiful. Also, can we just take a look at this uh, carved portion here? I mean, there's resin in there for Avada Kedavra, Expelliarmus, really the only spell uh, that Harry knows. Uh, but uh, look at that, so beautiful. And then this is antique from what I understand this is a really, really old keyhole, and there's <laughs> supposedly an antique key somewhere, but I don't see where it is, so I'm guessing it's hidden. But this seems to move as well, so that's neat. Let's see. I notice this time turner, and you know what? This also, my fingers are too big to pull on it, so maybe there's a tool that'll help me to do that. Can't push it in, but it spins, so that's neat. But look at this carving. Wow. And this moves just barely, just barely. Okay, one other thing here is you can see this 
amazing serpent and what looks like Jinyu with a journal. Super cool. And I don't, this eye seems to be some sort of jewel. I don't know exactly what that is. So that'll be interesting to find out. Okay. First, I mean, this is right by this. So I wonder if I push this in, does something happen to that? Ah, ah, it spins all the way. Oh, a tiny, a tiny little wand. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. Now, and it's hard to see in this lighting, but man, that is, there's a yellow resin, of course, for Hufflepuff in there. And man, it'd be so nice if I could just touch, <laughs> touch it to something and, and have that, have that work. Let's see. So I wonder, I don't know, that one's less loose than the other one. So yeah, I, I don't know if that one's supposed to spin or not, but that one is loose. I wonder if each one of these has a wands. Maybe that's what these holes are for. Let's see if we can see what's in there. I don't know. You hear that? There's like a clicking happening. What could it be? I don't know. What if it were as easy as... No. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to break it. Uh, okay. So I'm going to stick this in all of these. I mean, I'm sure it goes into the Hufflepuff one, but, you know, sometimes it's just too easy. I don't hear anything or, you know, see anything happening other than just a clicking inside the hole. So I'm wondering if each one has its own special click. <laughs> okay, <laughs> worth a try, worth a try. All right, so I will leave that. I will leave that right there for now. And, you know, so these don't lift or move at all, which I suppose makes sense. You wouldn't want to break a big brass thing that you touch. There's nothing to push on these. These are all very secure, which I kind of, I mean, I didn't cheat, but I kind of felt ahead when I was moving it around and none of these seem to move. Maybe this unscrews. Should I try that? Oh, okay. <laughs> it stopped, but that, but that doesn't feel like it's opening. So it doesn't push in. So I thought maybe I could unscrew it or pull it out somehow. This is really hard to get with my fingers as well. I don't. Okay, what is this? Maybe I'll maybe I'll try screwing it in. Okay, so it stopped this way. Oh no, it didn't stop. It's just really hard. <laughs> All right. Is anything happening? Get it in more. Hopefully, I'm not breaking it. Seems like it might possibly be moving just a little bit more. Let me try to adjust my camera here. Hopefully not make anyone sick or dizzy. Uh. Oh man, that's tough. Oh, okay, this is moving a lot more now. I'm in the right direction. Oh, I don't know if my fingers can take much. Okay, here we go. Look at that beautiful blue resin for Ravenclaw and another wand. Check that out. So first I feel like I do need to do my due diligence and just touch everything with it. Because it's, it's hard to see in the camera, but there are some magnets here in the resin, which, which holds onto it. So, you know what, there's probably just a metal rod in here, which could interact with a magnet, something like that here. 
feel or hear anything happening. So I will. Okay, so that you hear that clicking again. Something's happening. Okay, so that is that. Now, Slytherin. Our friends at Slytherin. Cunning. Not all totally evil. Look at that snake, though. I mean, this is just incredible. Casting is something that I've always wanted to get into and just, just haven't. Okay. So... Let's see, I wonder if there's something here. I mean, there's a big snake on the back. So I feel like if that's not a clue, what is? Let me get this down a little bit here. And again, I apologize for my lack of camera skills and abilities. Okay, this doesn't push in or anything. I wonder, let me take, I'm taking out the Ravenclaw wand. I wonder if you can touch on anything over here. So I'm not feeling any kind of resistance or anything over here. Let me check all of that. Okay. Okay, that doesn't do it. Hmm. What do you guys think? What would you what would you do at, at this time? What would you do? So I'm putting that Ravenclaw one back if I can. You know, so this thing is too big for the spin moves. I don't think that that's what it is. Let's see, so we have gotten, we've gotten two so far. Okay, right under here, there is something. It's just a little plate and then I can feel some, oh, there's a hinge. So something opens up down here. I, I wonder if we can. I cannot get that. Let me see if I can tip it up. This thing weighs like 50 pounds. So, David, I will try not to break it. And again, this is made by David at Lucky Rooster Co. So you can kind of see there, there's a little trap door and a little, a little hole. I wonder if, I wonder if there is a way to get one of the wands in. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the Ravenclaw wand first. Tip this up without breaking it, hopefully. Oh. Okay, and I, I kid you not, it, it's very heavy. So here is the hole. Oh, it looked like <laughs> it looked like it was gonna open, and it didn't. And actually, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So let's put that down. I'm gonna switch back to the Hufflepuff wand. We have that one back out. Let's try this again here. Oh, I thought that was gonna work too. Okay. And you know what? I just saw, I just saw something. Let me see if that's on everyone. So what I saw was down at the bottom here on the leg to see but there's a little scar there's a little thing here on that leg which is very interesting so i wonder if each one maybe it's just an ornamentation all right so we're over here at the ravenclaw oh, there we go the ravenclaw leg and there's no scar on it there i don't see or feel anything let's go check out slytherin yeah nothing there and these these the feet even are cool. These these feet are just these these little brass balls, which are super super cool. And just really make this feel like a uh, multiple hundred year old chest. And on this side, I can't can't really see. Let's see. So there's nothing. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing on this side. So there must be something special. I would guess 
But that leg, you see that scar? Okay. Because, okay, so this doesn't move very much at all. Let me lift this up a little bit here. This doesn't move very much, but if I tilt this back, now you can get a little bit, hopefully a little bit better look at that scar. This moves, and the others do not. There's a little, okay, so there's a little, I don't know if you can see that right here, but there is a little inset there that I'm not seeing otherwise. Let's try, let me see if I can not crush my hand and turn this at the same time. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh! Okay, look at that. Oh, and it is, it is like the Elder Wand. It is like the Elder Wand. Look at that. That is super neat. Well, the Elder Wand might potentially be what's right there, depending on, of course, what scene this is. I know, I know. So it belongs to him, right? I don't want to break anything. Okay, so that, that's not it. Worth a try. Oh, I have to try under here. Let's tilt this up. Give this a try. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, that is not it. So let's put wand in its hole up here and there is a really interesting click that's happening up here hmm. so we've got okay so we've got the Hufflepuff wand we've got the we've got the Gryffindor wand of course we just got we have the Ravenclaw wand that pesky Slytherin wand is nowhere to be found. I mean, it's in here, I would guess. <laughs> but I don't know how to get it out. So what would you do? And I don't feel, I don't feel anything on this side. There's gotta be something with this picture, right? Okay, so that doesn't open. Nothing slides. anything this button I don't think is doing anything else I wonder if there's gonna be some sort of combination uh, that's based on the orientation of these posts here I'm just gonna slide all the brass things see again if there's anything here okay. So yeah, nothing I'm doing is really working. Okay, so <laughs> after about 20 minutes of moving these wands in different positions, moving these in different positions, nothing really happening. I, and I, I laugh just because this is the first thing that I would normally check for. Let me get a different angle here. Okay, so you see this beautiful back piece. You got the, the gem here. You really focus on the carving. Um, it's just, it's super beautiful. Uh, one thing I didn't notice was this is solid, this is not. And so, I wonder, <laughs> of course, of course it's a hidden compartment. Now let's see what this is here. Oh, wow, wow, look at this. He's gonna put me out of business. Look at this wand here. So we've got this brass here, and I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but it's some sort of a burl wood. Uh, it's really, really nice. And then uh, what looks like a 
gosh, mahogany or a walnut or something like that. Um, really, really cool. Look at these brass brads or something inset into the wood. This is all solid brass, this chain. It's kind of Civil War, Civil War wand-esque. And then, you know, the end is flat. And do you see that tiny? Let me, let me get in there. There's, there's just a tiny bit of a flash there. So I wonder if this is magnetic. Um, I've seen him do this on some of his other tables. Let's see if we can get a good one there. Yeah, on some of his wizarding tables and stuff. There'd be this little magnetic thing. So uh, I'll, I'll reserve that. Um, and then there's a key of some sort here that looks like a lobster claw, kind of. So I'll set that down there. Nothing else that I can feel that slides around. There's some writing right there. And let's see what it says. Let's see if I can adjust my light here. So I'm not in the way. Okay. Let's see here. And it says, the scar holds the key that only the curse can set free. The scar holds the key that only the curse can set free. Well, that is interesting. But wait, <laughs> where's the other wand? Let's see this. Okay, so we've got this key. My first guess is to come over here and check to see if it fits in here. I don't want to break this. It does not. It doesn't seem to. Does it open? So I'm, I'm going to guess... This is, these are curses, right? That's the killing curse. And is it, it could be as literal as Harry's scar there, which you can see he's got right there. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it right there on his head, which again, look at how incredible this engraving is. Um, and there is the curse. But there's also these scars in the wood, which I wonder if that could be a play I mean, that's a, a knot, of course, it's, that's filled, but there are multiple mm. things like that. So, um, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder. That was pretty hard for my fingers, so I actually wonder if this was for that. Oh, that would have been nice. But maybe, maybe that's not what it is, but that just fits perfectly. It seems like it kind of has to. This is also solid brass, it looks like, which is incredible. All right, let's see. Let's see what the deal is with this wand here. Is it possible? Okay, yep, look at this. Now it's harder, now it's easier. Now it is really easy. Da -da. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so you had to have that last one open to get this. Super cool. So let's put that in the Slytherin one. And, uh, gosh, do I leave that open or do I close it? Well, let's, let's find out. Let's go over here first. The curse can set free. So, First off, I've got my, my wand here with that magnetic tip, and I wonder... <laughs> nope. Okay, so now I'm pretty much just going to touch every, every scar possible. Okay, nothing there. What else has a scar? There's a scar right here. Hmm. Okay, so there's a scar right here. There's a scar right there. Well, I wonder if this has to be closed, maybe. Okay, so nothing there. It's not 
else. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. So I wonder if I play, I wonder if, if I have to put the one. So what I'm doing right now, which you can't really see, of course, because I'm terrible behind a camera. Let's see if I can turn this around, get it up. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is kind of just playing with the, oh, okay, so I, oh man, that is cool. And you didn't get to see it. So let me show you what I did here. See if I can zoom out just a little bit. So here's this Ravenclaw, uh, this Ravenclaw wand in the hole. And I noticed that the hole is a little large, right? And when you, when you take any of the other ones, like if I take the, the Gryffindor one, you can hear that click. And if I take the Ravenclaw one, you just don't readily hear that click until I push forward. And look at that. Look at that. There's a, there's a light in it. So the scar holds the key and something about a curse setting free. I already don't remember, but Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh! All right, sorry for that, that voice. Sorry that you had to hear that, but our panel opened and inside is a key. So let's set this up. Let's set this up and see. It looks like it fits. It feels like it fits. It didn't open anything. Let's turn it. It didn't open. Let's see, let's try to open this again here. It didn't open it. Maybe that has to be on. Hmm. Hmm. So let's, I'm gonna try that back door. Let's go around to that. Open it up. The scar holds the key that only the curse can set free. Only the curse can set free. Set free what, the key or the lid or what? Hmm. Yeah, so again, what would you do in this instance? So I'm turning the light on, nothing's happening. Let's try that, Ugh. nothing's happening. Um, let's, let's see, I wonder. I wonder if there's some sort of combination with these. I'm just gonna set it back to how it was and see if, because they spin, it could be just to release the, oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Let me open this without breaking my light. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have done it. Look at this beautiful box, just the inside. Nice and rigid. And it looks like, if I check all of this, it looks like there's not anything else. These are all, these are all screwed in, these panels. Oh, look at that, yep. So turning that was the lock on these front, on these front mechanisms. That is so cool. And you can see, this is how, this is how they got stuck in there. See if I can make that focus. Here you go. This is how they stuck in. Wow, just incredible craftsmanship too by David at Lucky Rooster Co. So let me, oh, definitely magnetic. I'm gonna move stuff around. Yeah, I'm getting hung up. There's screws here. 
You know, you wonder if one is a false screw that'll come out. So I think that that was it. Um, wow. So overall, uh, let's see, about 30 minutes that it took. Gosh, this is such a satisfying puzzle. This is awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's get it reset so we can take a look at it. is back and for the last little movement turning this back oh my gosh how satisfying is that so let's see i think everything should be back in order that is it the completed and now reset harry potter puzzle chest thing uh, made by David Owen Lundell at Lucky Rooster Co. You guys really should uh, give them a follow. Well, that that was it for this puzzle chest. Uh, it's so fun. I just love the ingenious uh, mechanisms in solving it. The way that these, these legs turned, the way that that light turned on was super cool. The magnetic wand and how that key shot out uh, was just which is really cool, really well done. Again, go follow Lucky Rooster Co. on Instagram. They're at Lucky Rooster Co. And I've shared them a few times. I'll share them more. <laughs> um, incredible job. And thank you so much for watching this video. Um, again, it took about 30 minutes to solve. And yeah, until next time.